okay the third part of the question is to find the ordinates from radial and perpendicular offsets from every full station of 30 meter along tangent so what we are uh, going to do is to get the ordinates from tangent these ordinates are of two type radial and perpendicular offset okay so when we draw the figure and first I'm going to discuss about the radial offsets so this is our curve this is a tangent so you need to find these ordinates okay so these are the radial offset uh, offsets or radial ordinates if it is perpendicular to this tangent line okay so like this if it come like this that is perpendicular offsets hope you know the theory part so this is what we are planning to do so these ordinates are at a distance x1 x2 x3 and x4 distance from this tangent point t1 so this is x1 till here x2 till here x x3 till here x4 okay so first very first thing is you need to calculate x1 x2 x3 they have given one uh, hint in the question that the offsets from every full station of 30 meter along tangent so they have used a chain of 30 meters length okay the chain edge of tangent point t1 and the apex point v is already given okay in the first part we have discussed about that so when i draw that this is apex point v okay it's chain edges 1 8 3 9 point 2 meters the chain edge at this point is 1 7 5 6 point 3 6 meters isn't it so they have mentioned that this tangent is subdivided into 30 meter full chain so they have started in some other point here it is 0 30 60 90 so it is a multiple multiplication of 30 meters right so before reaching 1756 the multiplication of 30 before this point it is 1740 this 1740 means it comes to 58 chains one chain is equal to 30 meters so 58 into 30 that is 1740 so 58 chain till this point the distance is 58 chain okay so the next 30 meter distance will come after this t1 right this 1756.36 is the chain age of t1 so next to 30 meter chain age or next to 30 meter chain will come at this point after 1756 okay its value is 1770 one seven four zero plus thirty one seven seven zero okay hope it's clear to you so this t1 will comes in between this one seven four zero and one seven seven zero okay 
so we will get the first x1 x1 is the distance from the t1 to the first ordinate so you will get the first ordinate t x1 how much will be this value from here till here it is 1770 minus 1756.36, right? Isn't it? Okay, so we can calculate. So at T1 the 30 meter chain is T1 illa, uh, no, sorry at T1 the 30 meter chain is equal to 58 chains plus 16.36 meters 58 chain means 1740 plus 16.36 is equal to 1756.36 right okay hope you understand so at this point t1 it is 58 chain 58 chain means we have reached till here 1740 plus 16.36 so you reached at t1 one seven five six okay so plus this x1 value will give you one seven seven zero isn't it so x1 is equal to one seven seven zero minus one seven seven five six point three six which is equal to thirteen point six four meters. Okay. So after that, so we have reached one seven seven zero. Next chain is full full station. Right, one seven seven zero plus thirty, so it will be one eight double zero. Next is one eight three zero. Hope you understand. So, the next x two will be from from t one till one eight double zero. Right. So, x two will be. 13.64 plus 30 it is 43.64 meters okay x3 is forty three point six four plus thirty seventy three point six four meters okay And the final, so we have reached at 1830. Now the remaining is 9.2, right? So next chain age will be x4 will be at 73.64 plus, so we have reached 1830. This is 1839.2, so plus 9.2, which is nothing but the length of the tangent right length of the tangent that is 70 sorry 82.84 meters so this is nothing but length of tangent that we already found in the first part okay so now you got all the x values that means from t1 
T1. So I'll draw separately. So from T1, you have divide this T1 V into different points. So first one was X1. X1 is at 13.64 distance. By the time it reaches 1770 chain age. So next 30 meters, it was X2. Next to 30 X3. And there was last point that is at this point X4. All these X1, X2, X3, X4 starts from T1. Okay. So it's clear to you. Now we need to calculate the ordinates corresponds to these x1, x2, x3 and x4. What is the equation to calculate the ordinates using radial offset? Hope you remember. Ox is equal to root of r square plus x square minus r. So this is the equation. So you calculated the x value r you already know 200 meters so you can find the ordinates o1 is equal to root of 200 square plus 13.64 square minus 200 the value will be 0.46 meters Similarly, O2 can be calculated 200 square plus 43.64 square minus 200. You will get it as 4.71 meters. O3 is similarly, instead of X, you can substitute X3, 73.64. When you substitute, the value will be 13.13 meters. And the last ordinate O4, it is 82.84 meters as X. When you substitute, you will get it as 16.48 meters. So this is how we are calculating the ordinates. So in the curve, you will get O1, O2, O3. O4. Okay, so O1 corresponds to X1, O2 corresponds to X2, O3 corresponds to X4 and last ordinate O4 corresponds to the tangent length. Okay, hope it's clear to you. Now what about the perpendicular offset? So the same problem can be solved using perpendicular offset, right? All the step steps remain same. The calculation of x1, x2, x3, x4 remains the same. Only this equation varies. What is the equation? To find uh, the ordinate using perpendicular offset the equation is just I mean opposite to this right what is the equation it is r minus root of r square minus x square okay r minus root of r square minus x square will give you the perpendicular uh, offsets equation. So instead of this x, you can substitute x1, x2, x3 and x4 and get the value of ordinates. Okay, hope it's clear to you. Thank you.